you guys so today we're gonna get a look at our Darth Malik and Bastila Shan from the gaming greats black series line of figures guys old Republic characters here guys we're gonna get a look at the figures for these characters guys so let's get started with the box so getting you a look at the box we have our black series logo on our perspective boxes we have the images of our figures our gaming greats logo and we have our warning label for an up plastic free packaging logo as well Hasbro logo and then we also have our Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic banner just underneath our illustration of our figure let's get a look at the side of the box so getting you a look at the box and our side profile of the boxes we have our Darth Malik character with our Bastila Shan character right next to him uh very cool I like how the uh Obviously, the they must follow each other right behind the line because they're both going together right there in the illustration. So that is some really, really cool stuff. And then getting you a look at the back of our perspective boxes, we have our, again, illustration of our figures, our blurb on each one of our figures. We also have our Black Series logo, all of our other readables underneath that. Malik is going to be number 20 and Bastila Shan is going to be number 21 in the gaming great old republic line of figures very very cool stuff and your blurb for your darth malik figure reads darth malik was once the apprentice of darth revan a fallen jedi turned sith lord who inspires terror at just the mention of the name with revan presumed dead malik embarks on a mission to conquer the galaxy on his own. And then for your Bastila Shan, Bastila Shan is a brash Jedi Knight during the Jedi Civil War of the Old Republic era. Bastila's affinity with the Force is a serious threat to Darth Malak and his Sith fleet. So there are your blurbs on your perspective characters, some really, really cool stuff. If you're not familiar with these characters from the Old Republic or if you haven't played the games, I have not actually played these games, guys, uh, but I, I do know the characters. I've watched the cinematic films uh, on the Old Republic, some of the best stuff in Star Wars, actually, um, but I, I don't know these characters in depth. Um, again, I did not play the game, but uh, I am somewhat familiar with these characters. I know who they are. Um, but I will uh, most definitely be very interested in the uh, Old Republic movie that I believe that we're going to be getting. Uh, and hopefully it will feature uh, these two characters. And then to get you a look at the other side of the box, you have your illustration of your two perspective figures and some of their dimensions and their accessories. Uh, of course, you have your plastic free information in different languages uh, and your other readables just underneath that, your Gaming Greats logo at the top of the box. All right, you guys, so we're gonna pull our figures out of the box and get a look at all of the detail, the articulation, accessories, and then of course, we're gonna get our figures in a very cool diorama, so please do stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we have our figures out of the box and out of the box, they look really, really good, really amazing. Uh, Darth Malik is absolutely awesome but also Bastila is equally as awesome. So let's get a closer look at both of these figures, guys, starting with our Bastila figure. Let's get you a closer look. So getting you a closer look at your figure here, she looks absolutely awesome. I love the color scheme and the outfit. She just looks absolutely amazing. Of course, I've seen her in a few cinematic trailers as well as some game footage on YouTube. 
I think she looks absolutely amazing and pretty accurate to what I've seen from the character. I love the hair sculpt too in the back. That's just really cool. She has the two pigtails, three pigtails basically, and then the hair off to the side. She just did a really, really good hair sculpt. I don't think we've ever seen that type of hair sculpt for a figure. She has a double bladed sword. Really cool. Mine is a little warped a little bit. I'm going to have to work that out, but very, very nice outfit. Very, very cool looking figure. Very poseable as well. So giving you a look at the articulation, going to give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend that goes back about that far. She is going to give you a 360 all the way around. Your T-pose. She's going to give you a twist in the elbow, a twist in the wrist. She has an up and down hinge in the right wrist. And then for your left wrist, she also has an up and down hinge in the left wrist as well. Her widest stance is gonna be about that far. She's gonna kick out about that far. Knee high, about that high. She kicks back about that far. You have a twist at the thigh. Your ankle goes down about that far. The ankle goes up about that far. And then of course you have your rocker as well. In the torso, she's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. She has a really good range in the torso, your left to right. And then in the head area, she goes down about that far, back about that far, your left to right, and a little bit of the head nod as well. So really, really nice articulation with your figure. Very, very cool. Again, a look at your weapon. It's a very nice weapon. Actually, some really, really cool detail on it as well. Very cool. You have your lime green blades that are removable. So really nice. You have your chrome hilts with a black leather-like handle in between. So very, very nice. All right, you guys. So let's get you a look at your Darth Malik figure. Let's get you a look. So he is absolutely awesome. Love the mouthpiece. And it is a really cool piece. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit. But overall detail, you have the chrome collar there with a splash of a red on the panel. You have his chest plate, which is, um, the red is a bit off from the outfit, but that's cool. Kind of distincts the chest plate armor, which is nice. Belt with the plastic molded material hanging from the belt in brown. Black boots. Really, really nice figure. You get a soft goods cape. I love soft goods. Do a lot to help in the posing. And then to get you a look at the back of the figure, uh, you have on the back of the belt a place to uh, put the saber hilt. So that's really nice. Additional feature there, really cool. And then of course, again, you get another molded brown skirt for the back. So really, really cool stuff there. Cool design for your figure. And then to focus in on the mouthpiece, it is a removable piece. It, it is in two separate pieces. And uh, you actually do have some options with it. And I'm gonna go over that in just a moment. So because of the design of the mouthpiece, you can kind of make it look like it's damaged, kind of open a bit. You can open it up a little bit. So that's cool. That's a cool option for posing options. And then if you want to be a little bit more dramatic, you can actually open it up a little bit more while still having it attached to the character. So that's a, another cool option due to the design, whether that was done intentional or not. It does still provide you with a very cool option for posing with this figure. And then, of course, you have the option of 
fully removing the mouthpiece, exposing the voice box, the electronic voice box that's been inserted to uh, basically give him speech because he had his jaw removed by Darth Revan and uh, suffered a lot of very, very bad scarring due to it. So really, really nice design, very, very good looking figure. Uh, probably a candidate for top figure of the year, just based off of design. We have the peg holes in the back for your mouthpiece, where you insert the mouthpieces. And because of the design, it allows you to kind of open the mouthpiece up for different posing options. So that's a really, really cool design, whether again, that was done intentional or not. I do not know, but it is a very, very cool, provides a lot of options for your figure. So that's really, really nice. Get you a look at the pieces, the mouthpiece itself. You have the left side, which is really nice, nice detail. The back, you have the two pegs that go in the holes in the back of the head. Same goes for the right side. Again, cool design for the right side. You have the two pegs in the back to insert in the back of the head where the holes are. So really, really cool stuff. And then for your articulation, he's gonna give you a straight arm like so. It goes back about that far. It is 360 action in the shoulder. Excellent T-pose for your figure. Twist in the elbow, twist in the wrist. There is an up and down hinge in the right wrist. Same would be true for your left wrist. Malik's widest stance is gonna be about that far. He's gonna kick out about that far. Knee high, about that high. He kicks back about that far. You have a twist at the hip, a twist in the knee, down in the ankle, up with the ankle, rocker in the ankle, in the upper chest joint. He goes down about that far, back about that far. You have a really good range of motion and your left to right in the head area. He's going to go down about that far. Looks up about that far. Not a lot. Your left to right. And little head nod action. Very cool figure. I do like him a lot. He's unique and a nice change of pace. And it's always nice to get an additional Sith. Then getting you a look at his weapon. I love the hilt, it is extremely cool. Lots of texture. Um, I don't know if it's my bad eye eyesight, but I, I do I detect a little bit of gold trimming in between the grooves? I could be wrong about that. On camera, it looks like it, but then when I look at it straight on, I don't see that, but it is a very, very nice hilt. Nonetheless, with the red blade, which I believe does come out. So really, really cool. And then again, for storage purposes, you have the holster in the back, which is really nice. That is really cool. Looks very, very good. All right, you guys. And just for comparison, here is a look with your Malik Darth Revan Bastila figure all together. Really, really cool. Very excited to have all three of these characters in figure form together. Just excited to have these guys uh, straight out of the game. Just to uh, get you a comparison, of course, you have the proportions between uh, Malik and Darth Revan. Looks like Malik is a little bit taller and he's most definitely a lot bigger uh, than Revan. Uh, is I don't know if the camera is really capturing uh, the size difference, but I can tell you just eyeballing it uh, between these two guys, there is a considerable uh, size difference between uh, these two guys. Uh, Malik is uh, way bigger, uh, much more uh, of a thicker character uh, as opposed to the uh, much s shorter and thinner uh, Revan figure. So really interesting uh, that Revan is actually the mo more powerful uh, one between the two, uh, but that is obviously in regards to force abilities and not uh, actual physical strength. So 
uh, really, really cool. Very nice. I do. Uh, again, I'm very excited to have all of these guys in figure form uh, together. So there it is, guys. All right, you guys. So we're going to get our figures in a very cool diorama. So please do stay tuned. series figure with your Bastila Shan figure. Very, very cool figures. I love both of these figures. Great additions to the collection. Uh, obviously helps to fill out your old Republic figures uh, with the addition of these two. And then of course you add Revan in there and uh, now you're, uh, yeah, three. Looking forward to receiving Darth Malvis. Uh, we got a little glimpse of him at San Diego Comic-Con this weekend, so I uh, can't wait to get that figure in hand, and I'm sure there will be more characters from the Old Republic that will show up in the Black Series Gaming Great line. So, so, really cool stuff, guys. I really enjoy these figures again. Let me know what your thoughts are in regards to these figures. Have you picked up these figures, and what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and of course, guys, from the father to the son to the OB1 Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.